I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my Carl Sandoval Flying V guitar. I've been playing guitar for over uh, 30 years and I have like 22 guitars and this is one I bought at an online auction and this one, the diamonds aren't really my style for my band right now so I'm looking to get 4500 for it today. It looks really, really cool. Carl Sandoval, he was a really big innovator with guitars in the 70s. The cool thing he did though was he made guitars that are a lot that were thicker than the Gibsons so they could have a bridge like this right, put into right. it. The tremolo. Yeah, the tremolo it, bar right there. I mean, because, you know, like late, late 70s, I mean, these guys are bending those things. Right. You know, they're getting on stage. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so right. you, you needed a bigger body to handle this kind of tremolo in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what made his, everyone want his guitars. Heavy mm -hmm. metal music abuses a guitar, and you needed sort of like the heavy duty guitar that could handle it. And right. he came up with the perfect guitar for that. You know, Gibson came out with a flying V, I think it was like 1958, but they only made a few of them, weren't real successful. The V style got popular again in the late 60s and all of a sudden it just popped and everybody wanted a flying V. Jimi Hendrix actually had a flying V. Yeah, yeah. Um, Carl Sandoval, he filled a hole in the market that existed at the time. Still really, really popular guitars. Um, this stuff is definitely a demand, brings really good money. Yeah, yeah. He didn't mm -hmm. make a whole lot of these in the 70s. Um, I know he's still making guitars. I've seen this guitar that's polka dotted, and I've never seen it with like the diamond shapes on it. Was this ever repainted or anything like that? No, um, I think it's it was custom built for a guy right around the same time he built Randy Rhodes' polka dot flying V. Oh, all right, yeah, because so, he, yeah, he made one for Randy Rhodes from Quiet Riot. Right. Um, how much did you want for it? Um, 4,500. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to call somebody up who will know more about this guitar than I would. Maybe it was a big rock star that had it. Okay. okay? I mean, because that right. would definitely make a difference. You know, you know, this might have been with the Ramones. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. All okay. right. Thank you. So I have a guy in the shop, and he's got this really super cool V-style guitar made by Carl Sandoval. He is an icon in the music-making business. He has made guitars for just about every big name. So since I have to put a price tag on this thing, who should I call? The man himself, Carl Sandoval. So do you remember that? Absolutely. This is Carl Sandoval. No way. <laughs> Look at that paint job. Unbelievable. I can tell what kind of paint that I used back then just by the patina that check it out. Originally, I mean, this thing has been played on stage a oh, lot definitely. because you can just tell it's not faded where the guy's arm was. Definitely. Can you hold that one second? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this body is it's made out of alder. It's a flying V. It, it's incorporating Gibson and Fender. Okay, we've got the Fender Bridge, six inline tuners, and a toggle switch. So it's definitely yours and it's definitely one of a kind. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the reason why I'd say one of a kind, diamonds, I don't recall build, ever building another guitar that had the diamond pattern on it. But um, I'm just glad to see it. All right, so the big, <laughs> big question is, who'd you make it for? Well, this was amazing. Tell me like some massive rock star. <laughs> Well, actually, it was made for a guy in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and where he ended up going, I really don't know. He was a rock star in his own mind. Uh, yes. Would you like to know what I would charge for one of these if I build it right now? How much that? Yeah, sure. You're looking at about seven grand. Okay. For a guitar like this. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Very welcome. Call me anytime. It's a pleasure. It's good talking to you. Thanks, man. Have fun. Beautiful guitar. Good luck. Okay, well, I brought in the legend himself who <laughs> verified it. Yeah. Um, once again, what do you want for this thing? 45, I think, is fair. To, I like to stay right on that just because it's the one of a kind well, and it's one of the first ones he did. Help out a starving musician. <laughs> All music. All right. <laughs> right? I have, uh, you know, I built this pawn shop on starving musicians. Yeah. All right, tell you what, well, 3,700 bucks. Awesome. We got a deal, man. Thanks, man. Okay. They just gotta teach me how to use it. No. <laughs> Cruise right around the corner, I'll write you up, All and right. um, I'll get you paid. Thank you. All right, no problem. Got the guitar, I just need to get my hair back. Then I'll be a rock star. <laughs>